let's look hello hola konnichiwa what one my harry fam welcome to my channel if you are new please hit that subscribe button now today i'll be showing you how i achieved this by using just a few seasonings and a toaster oven so if you want to see more stay tuned I'm about to prepare my chicken to roast it so I decided to do just an amateur video because you all know I'm not a well I'm a chef in my own right haha <laughs> so for the first time in since I've been in Japan I've seen a whole chicken like I've always wanted chicken a whole chicken because I like the bones but I always have to be buying the legs the drumsticks separate from the wings and the breast so I got a whole chicken they tied the legs with this I didn't plan to record so I didn't show you but yeah it was tied together like this it's, it came like this actually quite cleaned up and everything I love it so I'm gonna stuff it I'm going to show you what I will use to make my seasoning and this is my first time roasting or baking a chicken chicken <laughs> in a toaster oven so don't judge me I hope it comes out right so all of you will be like yeah mm -mm, that can't be good you be shame all right let's go let's get the ingredients in with some lemon and yeah I need to wash the chicken first okay I really do like the way that they clean up this chicken. I'm gonna save this so when I'm putting it in the microwave oven, I can tie the legs back together. And I like the fact that it's a small chicken. I can just pop it in my microwave oven because my microwave oven is quite small. So yeah, I didn't do anything at all. It's quite cleaned up. All the fat is removed, the inside is removed. It's looking all nice and clean. You can also use some vinegar to wash your meat. I sometimes use apple cider vinegar since it's the only vinegar I really use because I, it's multi-purpose. So yeah, let's get this chicken out of the base bathing pan. <laughs> and the clean I'm just going to pat dry with uh, some paper towels and I probably didn't need to pat dry it now because you know there will be some moisture on it when I season it but never mind sometimes you gotta be extra when you're a chef right so this is my seasoning basket I have a whole lot of different things and I'm just gonna combine some stuff to work some magic of course, I need to go shopping to get some some leek. Um, I, I, yeah, they don't have a skillet in Japan. I think they have leek. So I need to get some leek. I need to get some more onions because I want it to be I like a lot of onions. And I'm going to put some garlic too. I'm going to put all of this. I'm going to chop all of these and combine some black pepper and some just some seasonings that I get, got from the supermarket and um this thing needs to start out. I got this this well it actually works you know it has pepper on the inside and I got this bouillon and I use some of this it's it works ish it's salty it's not maggy but it kind of works so let's work some magic I'm using three cubes of bouillon so I'm not only using salt and I just added some other Japanese spices that I found in the supermarket. They haven't killed me yet, so I'm good. I'm just adding some, oh, this is some spicy salt, spicy seasoning. And yeah, 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 this is my washing machine. If I do get around to doing a, an apartment tour, you will see why I'm using my washing machine as my table in the kitchen, okay? <laughs> it's just next to the, the sink anyhow welcome to Japan so that's just about what I have um as I said before I need to go grocery shopping so I need to get some thyme I haven't found fresh thyme as yet so I'm gonna have to buy the one in the bottle and some other stuff but for tonight I'm just gonna put these on my chicken and then tomorrow I'll add the rest of stuff 
because you want to have your chicken marinated overnight. Yeah, baby. Let's go. In the seasoning, I have my chopped onion and the garlic. And I have a little bit of jerk seasoning left, just a small amount. And if you know us Jamaicans, we have jerk seasoning to anything and everything. Yes, so I'm just going to stuff the onion and garlic inside of the chicken. Tomorrow when I get the leek, I'll put some more stuff in there. So put all of this inside tonight as it is. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Actually, should I rub on the seasoning first? Wait, wait, let's just pour this all over. I'm gonna rub in. Sorry, I'm not wearing any gloves. I'm gonna rub in and around. Oh, we need this one. We need some more seasoning. Never mind, I'm trying to record at the same time. So I'm rubbing in and around. I'm gonna make some more seasoning. As you know, you can see the back. Oh, it's okay. No, it's okay. Tomorrow I can just, I can just sprinkle some more on it. We wanna, I just want to get these in tonight and then I'm going to put the jerk seasoning a bit all over and inside. Stay tuned. I also added a little bit of olive oil to help with rubbing in the, the seasoning. I don't have any browning so I'm going to use, um, what's the name of the sauce? I'll tell you tomorrow. I'm gonna, I need to buy it too. Okay, so that's my chicken. Properly beat off, tidy up, ready to go into the fridge until tomorrow. I can smell it already. So I'm just gonna cover this and put it inside of the fridge and then we'll see what we do next. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Little chickenies. We used to do this as a child. Who knows what this is? Comment down below and let me know. Maybe you never did it, you know, but we didn't grow up poor, so we know we have no part of the chicken. Guys, believe me when I tell you that outside is too cold. I couldn't bother to go to the shop, so I didn't buy the leeks. I just used the onion and the garlic that I have, and I wanted to buy steak sauce. That's what I was trying to remember, the steak sauce. Um, to get it a little brown, but I just use some Japanese sauce that I have here. And I'm just gonna pop this into the oven, and you will see the end result. Oh, I, I just stuffed it with some carrots that I had in the fridge. Yeah, lazy baking. I know, I know, I know. But guess what? It's just for me. Don't judge me. So I'm just gonna pop it into the microwave oven. As you can hear, it is already heating up. And I'll give it some time and when I get it, take it out, you'll see what it looks like. And it was a bit of a struggle to get it in there, so it actually touched the light, but hopefully it doesn't explode. Let's see what happens. For a little bit over 30 minutes and I'm going to just check on our baby. How is my baby doing there? There's a baby in the oven. There's a Lot of mercy. Seems to even know this up, Mr. Fanta. <laughs> we at there. Oh gosh, I had to kind of hold it down with the knife. See, I miss it. I pierce it all kind of stuff. But that is the least. It's almost 30 minutes in, as you can see. This is 15 minutes each time. No, not almost. It's over 30 minutes because I had already circulated that twice. I just mixed some ketchup and water and poured over it like a base because it was a little bit too dry. I'm going to kind of click down my wing here a little bit. I'm going to spin this one more 15 minutes. But before I do so, I'm just going to add some sweet pepper. So with the added flavor, maybe I should try to put some more basting. 
yeah and all that burn that you're seeing at the top you got it right the onion and garlic I'm sure you were saying no kitty no kitty take that off it's a good burn never mind it smell good you see it smells so good okay we have a oh my god the pressure the struggles for hold it down with the knife to close it I want to mash up the local toast the oven you know all right that's the last time we're going to trouble it until we really come out again just give it another 15. then just cut this part see knife is just going through like that sliding through it John, 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 come look here. It coming like it's a oil pipe burst. Oh, oh my God! Me not tell him on me seat, man. Why? Yeah, that chicken ain't easy. You know, I hope it worth it. That me I said too. Not because I cooked it, but I'm telling you, it's really, really good. It's well done. It's soft. I can taste the jerk chicken. I mean the jerk seasoning. See? I'm just using the fork to break it. Very soft and well done. I'm telling you, it's really nice. Not because I'm the chef, but it's good. I always wanted one nice to sit down dinner, but hungry after all, I'm going to go through. Sooner or later, yeah? Thanks for watching. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Boom, bang. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Boom, bang. I'm out.